home sweet home another late night training with you guys i'm actually mm -hmm. um just getting back in the house again tonight i'm just actually getting back in town from another graduation so my cousin um, who's like a sister to me graduated high school um today which is so amazing and um gosh she's such a smarty she received over 560 or 580,000 dollars uh worth of scholarships that she had received so she's a smarty and i'm excited about um, her future she has uh, really been connected to uh, my mom's life and my life since she was a baby baby and seeing her grow and become such an amazing um, young lady was such a pleasure so that's where we're just getting back in town from but i wanted to be consistent in that i promise you all i would uh, broadcast five days in a row which is not normal for me because my normal broadcast days are Mondays and Wednesdays at 11:30 a.m. but once a month or periodically throughout sp certain months I'll come on and I'll do what I call a marathon where I come on and I broadcast five days in a row about any given topic and this particular marathon is about ways that I can support you in your business and ways that you can work with me. Um, I had a recent call with a client and as I was explaining to her, one of the ways uh, I could support her in her business, I said, I don't think I've done like a really <clears throat> good job in explaining specifically how um, I, people can work with me and I can support them in their business. So I'm gonna do that for my next, <clears throat> excuse me, um, five-day marathon which is now hope you guys are doing well it's late I'm not even sure who's up um, is that Obreda is am I pronouncing that properly dear thank you for uh, joining the broadcast I'm gonna do a quick introduction for those of you who will come on and you're just wondering like who's this lady what is she talking about at almost 12 o'clock midnight but I wanted to be consistent and I wanted to make sure that I came on and of course um, I probably wouldn't feel whole if I didn't come on and do a little training. So yesterday I talked about clarity and I told some complimentary ways that um, I can support you in your business or we, you can hop on my calendar uh, so that we can get the process moving. If you missed that broadcast, it's still on my business page you can watch it and it gives you links and everything to be able to schedule time on my calendar and we talked about clarity but tonight I want to talk about renew and the word renew is really special to me one it is a, a huge portion of the name of my consulting business so my consulting business is named renew full circle and when I got ready to come on I was thinking, bless hands, hey darling, how are you? I was thinking, when did I come up with, with that name? So I started my consulting business in 2012, uh, but I came up with the name in 2011 after I had had an amazing experience at a three-day conference. And it was also another transitional time in my life. How many of you, you can just put it in the comments, have had more than one transitional time in your life? Or is it just me? But this was, hey, Shia, babe, how are you? Uh, this was at another one of those transitional times in my life where I really began to understand um, more about my entrepreneurial journey and how much it was intertwined with my life and <clears throat> when I learned what it meant to <laughs> hey darling what renew meant I was like that is perfect because renewing is something that we do full circle in every area of our life not just our business uh, but our personal life and our mindset and our thinking as well um, it was also a time where i was spending in your fourth transition i know that's right shia i believe i you know i didn't count but i know this was 
as I'm beginning to share this with you all, I was like, okay, I came up with that name during a transitional time in my life. And I know at that point I probably had had two. That might have been my second one. I don't know, but I'm a count now that you said that. It makes me want to really... <clears throat> You know, just go back and think about when were some major transitional times in my life. But this was definitely one of them where and, and on top of that, I was really getting really, really close um, to God on another level. And I probably heard the word renew, you know, in my study time. And of course, it said the only way that we're really transformed is by the renewing of our mind. And I was thinking tonight, I was like, man, you know, the meaning of the word renew has evolved for me, you know, as I've evolved and as I've grown and I understand it just on a whole nother level. Um, and it's actually just so perfect for me in this season of my life um, for how I want to support the people that I work with. And um, yeah, so I kind of wanted to give you guys some definitions of renew and then i wanted to share with you all how i came up with it, it as i said before it was at a transitional time in my life where i was learning more about my entrepreneurial journey and just how much you know who i was as a person made a big difference it was also at a time where um, i always cared about my customers uh, you know i from day one, I always cared about my customers, but the way I cared for them began to change like on another level. And um, for those of you who may come on and hear this and you haven't experienced me before, my background is in the beauty industry. And so many of us as stylists or salon owners or massage therapists, nail techs, any of us in the industry that actually get to work kind of one-on-one -on -one with clients, we hear the lives of people all the time. And when I realized just how much they held on to things that we said or information we shared or even the position that we were in to impact people's lives, um, it really made me kind of step back. I remember I may have been about maybe anywhere between seven, eight years in, maybe a little longer. But I remember wanting to have uh, like a session with my clients because I would hear one client who had an issue and then the other client would have a similar issue, but she had gone a lot further, like she may have had answers. But because of confidentiality, you know, I didn't want to share the other person's information. So I started this thing called Relax, Relate, Release with my clients and we would have quarterly meetings um, in the salon and we pick a topic, I would pick one because I knew it was something that many of them may have been dealing with and then I would bring like an expert in to come and share their opinion on it or just give them an opportunity to share. But in, in our industry, we have an opportunity to be, you know, our clients are really intimate with us. They tell us stuff they don't tell their mama, okay? And, you know, I really started taking that stuff to, to heart and and also it made me really look at my own life. So all of this is going on uh, around the time that I'm, you know, beginning my consulting business and, and coming up with uh, the name of it, which is Renew. So I looked up some definitions for the word Renew tonight before I came on. And I love words in Hebrew, and that's probably because I'm a kingdom believer. So I guess that's why I'm always looking them up in Hebrew. But the Hebrew definition for the word renew was repair. Whew. My goodness. Uh, yeah, it, it said repair. But then there were other words, innovate, revive, modernize, refresh, refresh life, um, refresh quality. And I thought that was so awesome. I mean, because now in this stage of my journey it really really means a lot especially for the women who i have an opportunity to work with speaking of work with for those of you who've never been on with me i'm a transformational growth strategist so um, strategies are my strategies and systems are my superpowers they come naturally for me i didn't always know that i kind of think i thought everybody you know, kind of thought on the same level until I began to see the difference that it was making in the people's lives that I was around. 
Um, I'm also a business consultant and certified life coach. I work from a three-point perspective. So I focus on mindset, personal growth, and business building. And you guys heard me say before, um, the only way that we begin to be transformed is really by the renewing of our minds. So if you follow me, you'll hear me say different things and you can really collectively think about um, when I say who I am as a brand, I'm, I'm building, uh, what I'm building now is much bigger than me. Um, and I'll share more of my vision as it goes forth, which is actually, you know, transpiring um, now. And um, so I help my clients to brand, build, and profit in their business by giving them systems and strategies that help them move to new levels. And I was sharing five ways that I can support people in their business or they can work with me and we're on day three and one of my uh, opportunities is called a renew strategy session and <clears throat> if you think about everything that I said with renew um, you know that's where that ties in so during that strategy and let me say this too so renewal the process of renewing is a continuous process and so i want you guys to remember as you push forward on your entrepreneurial journey one of the the quickest ways that we can lose our flow in our business is to get caught up in our last success i'm gonna say that one more time one of the quickest ways we can lose our flow in our business is to get caught up in our last success, the last thing that we did really well. And I'll give you guys an example. So have you ever met someone, maybe you went to high school with them or you know, maybe you knew them back in the day <laughs> when you know we were partying and clubbing and doing our thing or whatever. And whenever you see them, the only thing they talk about is you know how successful they used to be 10 years ago or 20 years ago or how they had it going on or how they were caked up or whatever the case may have been and but if you look at what's transpiring in their life now it doesn't support you know success and most oftentimes we get caught up on the last thing that we were great at and when we're in that space we just kind of like hold on to that old story but we aren't making new moves and so one of the quickest ways to lose our flow <clears throat> is to get caught up in our last success now notice i said that renewal is a continuous process that means we may hit a a new goal or a new outcome or something that we wanted to change and we make that happen but if we're we're either growing or we're dying and that's for anything it's either growing or it's dying and so if we get caught up in the success we get comfortable we don't do anything new we don't step into new possibility and then we wake up one day and we're like okay wait a minute either where is my clients or where is my relationship or you know maybe we were having those consistent conversations with our children and then we stopped um, i don't know how many of you are parents but i know in our busyness you know if we're not careful we, it'll be a while maybe before we check their phone or before we sit down and have like a real conversation with them you know that time can really extend out and oftentimes we're thinking that that last conversation we have with them is going to carry them and it does carry them for a while but we have to continue watering it right and so when we think about our business it's the same thing so there it's a continuous process of being renewed and i like to think that god has like this intended place that he really wants our mindset to be where our life and everything that we're doing is in abundance and so when i think about renew i think about him wanting us to go back to how he originally designed and created us to live and live out on the world and so most of our renewal process is an unlearning of things that we've been taught either by society most oftentimes by by our parents who didn't know themselves and so that renewal process is actually to take us back to a place of 
um, possibility and authority and dominion the way we were truly supposed to live out on this earth, like suffering. I'm not saying that there's not suffering in the world, but I believe that we were supposed to walk in dominion. And it requires us to um, up-level our mindset and walk in a space of awareness you know, so that we can do that. So that's what I feel um, renewing is, going back to how we were originally supposed to be. And so when you think of your business, when you first thought about your business or thought about opening your business, nobody thought about a business that was going to be a struggle, right? And so when I think of my Renew Strategy sessions, it's to renew that person back to what their original vision was or either <clears throat> help them to expand their vision to one that's even greater, to get um, innovated or revived or modernized. These are some of the, de the words that were in the definitions, refreshed, a refreshed life or uh, refreshed the quality of. So during those sessions, I, I really made them for, say for instance, you have one strategy that you really need um, some solutions on. So it's for next step solutions to get unstuck, to find clarity and to move forward in your business. Uh, maybe it's a marketing strategy you need. So maybe you reach out to me and you say, okay, I really need like a 90 day marketing system. That would be very ideal for a renewed strategy session with me. Um, maybe you need a hiring strategy or uh, a profit or growth strategy, or maybe you wanna use that strategy session for brand clarity. That would be very ideal for the Renew Strategy Sessions. And after you make, they're $4.97 for the Renew Strategy Sessions. After you make your investment, you will get a series of questions that you'll answer. You'll email back to me, and then we hop on a, a virtual call. So I get to see you, and you get to see me during those strategy sessions so that we can really talk um, about what it is that you desire. But much of the strategy will already be devised before we come on visually. And this is why I send the questions out in advance so that we can spend the entire hour not with you still, you know, trying to walk through whatever it is that you need, but with me giving you the full time um, with complete strategy. I also give you a replay of our virtual conversation and some bullet points of what we discuss so that you can have and reference back to for later. So that is my the third way that you guys can work with me. Again, I wanted to, I, I don't think I've done a great job about explaining um, to those that connect with me how I can support them or how they can work with me. Um, now the Renew Strategy Session is very similar to a business assessment in that it's the same process. We will do it virtually. The only difference with a business assessment would be more intense questions. So I'll get into detail uh, like um, asking you your retention rates and then I'll help you determine how you figure those out if you need to. Some people know their retention rate, how they're retaining customers. Uh, it will get into detail with uh, maybe specific products that you have and the pricing so that um, I can really take a deeper look at your business and show you where some gaps are or some of the simplest things, guys, that can shift and change the trajectory of your business, like really change your profits. I work with one young lady, um, and in three weeks, she had increased her salary by 30% because we filled in some gaps. Because oftentimes when we're in the paint, it's, it's things that we just simply can't see because we're inside the business, like grinding and doing the work. And so that's what a Renew Strategy session with me is. And um, like I say, normally it's, I, I like to pick, well, it is for one strategy. So it's not like you say, well, these are the 20 things I need in my business. We pick a strategy that you can really focus on, that I can really give you as much um, purpose-driven information as possible about that so that you can implement it and begin seeing your results. So for those of you who you're like, okay, I need a hiring strategy or I need a 90 day marketing system, I mean strategy, I need a profit strategy, a business assessment, or I need brand clarity. Those are <clears throat> uh, not uh, the only thing that can go down in a, 
uh, renew strategy session. But those are some ideas of what they that time would be ideal for um, one of those strategies that I named. And so I was sharing with you guys that renewal is a continuous process. That means that your business is going to grow. It is going to get to another level where there may need to be some refreshing, right, um, or repair as I share with you guys that renew meant in, in Hebrew. And first and foremost, I mean, last but not least, I want to leave you with the fact that renew starts in the mind. It starts in the mind. It's how we look at the business that we're building. And um, that's why I love mindset. 80% of the work I do is helping my clients um, elevate their mindset about their business and create strategies that allow them more time freedom, not necessarily always putting their hand to the paint because their mind is really the wealthiest place uh, that they have. And then we go into the actual strategies that will help you to get there. I hope you guys have enjoyed this training um, and enjoyed the, the new level of clarity in how I can support you in your business, uh, your business growth, and your business vision. You guys have a super, super amazing evening. I will be back on tomorrow for day four. I doubt very seriously that it'll be this, this late. But as I said before, I was just coming back in from out of town maybe an hour ago. Um, enjoying watching my little cousin graduate. So we've just had two graduates uh, in our family this week. And we are grateful and um, happy and proud of them. And just really their biggest fans and their biggest supporters. And I thank you guys. You guys could be doing anything else outside of here on this broadcast with me. If you come back and you're on the replay, put replay in the comments. Let me know you were here. If you like, i love to um, say hi or have a conversation with you. If you have a question about something that I mentioned, um, you can leave it in the comments and I will respond. I'll come back uh, later and put a link, a direct link inside the broadcast that will allow you to access um, a renewed strategy session. But for now, you can go to bit.ly slash build with Tanya. And it's going to give you several options, but I want to leave a specific link um, so that it's simpler for those of you who know that um, that's something that you need. You guys have a super amazing evening. I hope you guys have had a blessed um, week. And I pray that your days and weeks to come are even more blessed. Have a great evening. Peace.